So, this video is going to be about romance scammers. Now, I've fallen victim to these supposed people who want to, you know, be with you and shit once before, never again, never again. Because, um, yeah, I... You know, it happened where, you know, this person was demanding, like, iTunes gift cards, like, again and again. And this went on, I mean, for me personally, this went on for, like, I think a month or some shit. And I I think it might have been, like, no more than maybe two or three hundred I was scammed out of. But still, I mean, I've heard stories of people scammed out of, like, you know, fucking thousands, but my, hold up a sec, but my point in this video is to, tr is to help people try to pinpoint when you're being scammed, because there are red flags, there's, there's a few red flags that, that you can look out for. So the first one is, and, and gener and before, actually before I start that, Generally, how these things start is they'll find you on social media. So if you're not on social media, like, you're basically free from all any of this shit. But if you're on, like, Tinder, Bumble, or any, any, of, those, any of those platforms, um, you, you can still fall victim to it. You, they can still find you. But, you know, if you're truly, like, a proletarian who doesn't have, like, access or, or just chooses not to go on social media, you're... You're actually quite safe, but they'll find you on Facebook, they'll find you on Instagram, you know, they'll find you on dating sites. I think, you know, when I was victim to it, I think, I believe it was OkCupid they found me on. I was on that for like five minutes and <laughs> then I deleted it. But yeah, so here are a few things to look out for. Number one. The, they might what 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 these people might do is they might insist that oh you need we need to talk on this platform oh can you download this app can you download Google Chats or can you download you know whatever it is um, like you know WhatsApp or whatever so that's the first thing to be wary of is if they're if they're so like insistent that you have to talk on something other than text or you know the initial thing they met you on. So that's one. Number two is if the photos they send you look like they're from 2007. So by that, I mean like the quality of the pictures are so fucking bad that you can't even disseminate that it's from today. That it's obviously from like years back. So that's, that's the second red flag. Number three is if they send you a shit ton of follow-up questions. So it'll be like, oh, how is work? Are you there? Like, if they send you like three or four questions in the span of like 20 seconds, huge red flag, huge red flag. That is when something is definitely up if, if you encounter something like that. So watch out, yeah, watch out for them asking, hitting you with question after question like faster than any human can type them because they're obviously being generated from a computer. So keep, in, so keep that in mind too. Too many follow-up questions at once. And that was three. So number four is grammatical mistakes. Now, I don't want to pick on people where English isn't, your, isn't their first language. English is hard as shit, I understand. It's a very fucked up language. It is. <laughs> There's so many fucking rules about it that just don't make sense. But when you're asked such as like, how is works? Or, you know, um, when cans you come home or what, like, like, if there's some, I, I don't have a specific example, unfortunately. I really should have remembered these, but if someone has like a huge grammatical, someone makes grammatical errors where you can tell, like, well, what are you saying? That's the that's the other red flag. 
that's that's something to look out for. So if they're if their grammar is like way off, be wary, be wary. And this kind of ties into the same thing, but if they send you the but if when they send you these messages or texts, if they're double question mark, so like when they're asking a question but it's like double question mark, note that cuz that's another huge red flag of that these romance scammers use. And the third and and the last is again like if they say, if they ask you, "Hey, my birthday's coming up or something's going to happen." They'll come up with like a sob story, like whatever it is, and it's like, you know, um, "Can you get me a card? Can you get me?" And what they mean by that is gift cards. So, once they do that, you should block them. You should fucking block them. And honestly, yeah, that, that's all I have to say about this, about these romance scammers, because they're out there and they're not going away. I don't know how long they've been doing this for, but it's a serious problem. So, because when, when, I, when I was a victim of this, I was desperate for any kind of attention from just females in general, even if they weren't real. So... Don't do what I, don't make the same mistake I did. If, if you have one of these romance scammers, like, please, um, please block them. You know, and again, this is like, I would, and honestly, my advice is I would wait till they ask you for, like, gift cards, then just fucking block them. But those are the red, those are like the five red flags I just laid out for you. So if you have those, like, you're... So, again, if their grammar is poor, double question mark, they insist that you need to talk on a different platform, and, you know, their pics look like they're from 2007, it's, and, and, and they hit you with, like, you know, four questions in the span of, like, 20 seconds, note those categories, because they are red flags that you're dealing with a romance scammer, so... The point of, yeah, so the whole point of this video is to try to avoid having to deal with these things because they scam people out of thousands of dollars. It is, it is serious shit. So please do what you can to stay safe and don't get scammed, don't get screwed over, and don't get your finances taken advantage of and don't get taken advantage of.